Okay, here we are to continue from where I left off in the other video about um, getting a lot of photos on one page. First of all, you need one 12 by 12, and this is um, fairly Christmas themed because uh, I'll probably take my next mass photos at Christmas time. Then you need three strips. Three strips of 4 inch by 11 inch long um, coordinating, coordinating or as much coordinating as you can papers. And all you have to do is take one 12 by 12 sheet, cut off one inch from the bottom, and then cut the top down 4 inches. So that will give you the 3. And we're going to start our scoring. And you need either a scoring mat or um, some way to measure and score. If you don't have a scoring blade on your friskers, you can always use a stylus. And that's what I used. So the stylus works just fine. And your first measurements for scoring are let me put this under, at one inch. So put your paper in to the one inch line. Put the, the cover down and then just take the large end of your stylus and press firmly right down the groove. That's at the one inch mark. Then you move it up to the one and three quarter inch mark. You're going to increase it three quarters of an inch each time. Where'd it go? Oh, here it is. And score. And then move it up to the two and a half inch mark and score. That's your first sheet. And then fold it in the middle score. Fold it forward like this. I guess you can see it. Fold it forward like that. And these should be double-sided papers. Okay, the second one you're going to do right where you ended with the other. The last one you did on the other was two and a half inches. So you start scoring at two and a half inches and score down. Then you're going to have to pull your thing out because you add three quarters more of an inch and you do it at three and a quarter inch and score. And then the last one we'll do on this one is at four inches and score. And then fold right here in the middle score line. Boop. And then put it right here underneath. I don't know if you can see that. Okay, put it inside the first one you did. Okay, the last one you'll do is you'll start at four inches because that's where you ended with the last one. Uh, I can't see. Blind as a bat, I am. Okay, start at four inches and score. Then four and three quarters. I don't think I started at four inches. Yeah, right here. Score at four inches. Then four and three quarters and score. And five and a half and score. So your, your score marks are really um, almost halfway down. And fold that in the middle. And put that in the middle of here. And you have something that looks like this. Can you see that? Yeah, you can. Okay. You have them all lined up in one thing. So the, yeah, the first one you did is on the outside. The second one you did is under that. And then the third one you did is on the very inside. Then let's move the scoring blade here. We don't need that anymore. You're going to punch some holes right at the top of this one, right? See, this one actually has a 
has a fold right here. You're going to punch your holes in this part here. And the, the easiest way to punch even holes is to get a piece of paper the same width, fold it in half, and punch a hole somewhere. And I want the big punch. So get out my trusty dusty crocodile. Punch a hole. Oops, come on here, crappie. That will be difficult. There we go. Okay. And then when you open it up, you have evenly divided things. But that's a little too... Uh, can you see it there? That's too far apart. So I'm going to get it closer together in just a minute. Okay, I did that. So that'll work fine. So put that on top of your, where you want your holes, and mark it with a pen or something so that you can punch it there. I don't know if you can see that, but mark those two holes, which I'm going to do right this minute. That's an easy way to make even marks, even holes. All right, there and there. And I'm going to go ahead and punch it. And you punch it through all the paper, so that's why make sure they're against each other and then punch it with your crocodile. You will need a crocodile because of the fact that this is thick, thick paper and I can hardly get it through there. There we go. One. Uh, two. Okay. See there? Holes, well, where are you? Holes through all the papers ready for um, ribbon. And I'll get that out. And I'm just using a Christmassy looking ribbon. Uh, this is ribbon from Paper Tray Ink, which is good stuff. And it, the color of this one is Scarlet Jewel, which is just very good for this paper because it's a dark color. And I've not used the color yet. so. And you don't need a lot of ribbon because you're just going to tie it in a fake bow. So let me cut this straight across, and I might cut this one at an angle so I can get it through everything. Cuts good. All right, now with your little pointy end, 